Welcome back to the Weekly Watch Report, where we talk about the things we watch this week. Weekly Watch Report on Monday. 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 Um, fuck. Like, I didn't watch that much, but I did watch the new Dance Moms. And I just have to say, okay, so there's a new Dance Moms on Hulu, Dance Moms A New Era. If you thought that this Dance Moms was going to be like a nice version of Dance Moms, oh, well, you were sadly mistaken, honey, because I was sadly mistaken. Because I was putting on this new era of Dance Moms thinking like, oh, they probably learned so much from Abby Lee Miller's stinky ways that this is probably like a new version of Dance Moms. And it's like nice and positive and they're like encouraging each other and, you know, all good. No, 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 no. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with a different teacher, a different dance school. This girl, this woman was best friends with Abby Lee Miller. So you can only imagine. And the moms are so fucking wild. Like I, I truly am judging these moms so hard for subjecting their children to this show because you know what happened with the original Dance Moms. You yep. saw the aftermath and the impact that that show had on these girls and said, I want my kid to go through that. I want to be a part of that. You're sick in the head. You are sick in the head to put your child through that. And you just want fame and fortune. And to me, that is sick. These moms on this show, they make me sick. They really do. Because I, I just can't believe that they would put their children in this. I just can't. Like, it's the same thing as the original show. There's no... I truly was shocked. I thought I was putting on a nice, positive show. I said, Dance Moms, a new era. Oh, my gosh. They're going to be lifting these kids up. It's going to be positive. The teacher's going to be, like, fun and goofy. Whole thing. No. 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 The moms are tearing the kids apart. The kids are tearing the kids apart. The teacher's tearing all of them apart. I'm like, okay, of course I'm still going to watch. Like, I, like, I'm going to watch after I record. I'm going to put on the fourth episode. But I'm going to watch with disgust because I can't believe it. Second episode, the mom's calling the other mom a bitch. Second episode, they tell, oh, you're trash, you're trash, you're a bitch. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then, oh my God, I just, uh, one part of the show did break my heart, though. There's one part of the show, a little girl, her brother passed away a couple of years. That part made me really sad. And it was really cute how all the girls like rallied, like started hugging her. And like, it was, it was really sweet. But that's like the only nice moment I've seen so far. Um, the rest of it is just, I can't believe, I can't believe that these moms are participating in this show with these children. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What, Where? did they learn nothing? <laughs> yeah, but it sure seems, sure seems like it. Where is this? Hulu. No, no, I know. Where is the day? Like, where are these girls? I think it's in New Jersey. Mm. I think it's in New Jersey because I had a couple girls message me saying yeah. that I could be totally wrong. One second. Let me just look that up. Um, where does Dance Moms A New Era take place? Yeah, so I'm I did like, where is the girls- studio? I had a couple girls message message me and be like, oh my God, the moms are insane. Like they live in my town. So I could see. I know. I'm so curious. Oh, Virginia, she- Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Not, not Jersey. Sorry. It's Virginia. Um, oof. Damn. I don't know what the fuck to read it. Cause I, I I'm morally conflicted. Mm. that's how I feel about it I'm morally conflicted because if I because listen the dance moms the original one was like this but it was like the first it was the first of its kind yeah so like who knew they didn't know what they were signing up for no right it just feels crazy that we have seen how these girls have reacted to the show they literally just did a full-blown reunion like discussing the effects of what being on this show was like for them and there were people out there that were like, you know what? Let's let's fucking let's run this back. Let's like why would like, you like let's run this back? And and Nia, who was one of my favorites 
from the original Dance Moms and Dr. Holly, of course, because Dr. Holly was the voice of reason. Like Nia didn't even participate in the reunion. And, and she made a TikTok being like, I don't like to talk. Like, I just don't want to touch that past. Yeah. And it's like, I don't blame her. Like, yeah. boy. Oh my God. So like when they originally did dance moms, I could see your kids are in, in dance class. They're coming up with a new show. Cool. Sounds exciting. And then naturally the fights happen, the, all this shit happens and oh my God, it turns into this crazy mess. Good show, but crazy mess. And then you learn from it. I can't see a world where you sign your fucking kids up for that again. Like after seeing it happen, like I'm just, I'm just stunned. I'm just stunned by it. The things people do, the things they will yeah. do for Hollywood babes. I can't believe it. I can't. Um, so, yeah, that's what I was watching yesterday. And uh, I watched, I, 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 like I said, like I'm having a hard time rating it. But I yeah. will give it a, I'll give it a, I'll give it a C. I'll give it a C. No, that's fair. Um, I, I watched the first two episodes of Love is Blind UK. Mm-hmm. I watched all of them. <laughs> you did? Yep. Listen, I'll eat this show up at, at, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner anytime. So, yeah. um, I only watched the first two episodes. Yeah, so I, won't, I won't. I won't spoil anything. I'll give it a B minus because it's just the first two episodes. Yeah, and it's just I. I like the structure of the show. I will say I do like that. It seems like a majority of them are older. Mm -hmm. Um, which is interesting. And then I also am. I mean. This is such a generalization, but the UK's dedication to like, you know, fulfilling their reality TV, like there are, I'm all, this doesn't give anything away, but there are a lot of couples that get engaged, like more so mm -hmm. than, you know, like sometimes with the, with Love is Buying US, like you get, I don't know, a f like three, four, like, and, and sometimes they fall apart pretty grossly. Um, or there's just, just not as many even just proposals. And this is like, there's they got a lot to work with. They got a lot to work with. They got a lot of drama. They mm -hmm. got a lot of co-couples. like couples. Because I just feel like sometimes people are, those, those, those Brits can also be a little bit more straightforward. Like they're in the pods and they're like, yeah, no, I got to be honest with you. Like I am talking to you and I am, I still have other connections, you know, like they're just, yeah, it's just more so like the, they're like kind of more aware of like the other situations and who's talking to who and like what's going to happen. So uh, I'm very, in I'm very intrigued to see what goes down, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of couples for sure. Yeah. I'm excited to keep watching. Um, obviously it ends with us. Um, I thought it was good. Like I, yeah, I think it's been tough. And like you said, it's unfortunate because it's the same way with don't worry, darling, when there's the drama, people are talking about the drama. And like, now we just want to talk about the movie, take the drama out of it. Like just talk about the movie as a product. Yeah. Like I want to talk about the movie as if none of this drama fucking existed. And I just yeah. saw the movie and that was it. And so obviously, you know, when it comes to a book becoming a film, there's going to be things that are left out spoilers i don't know not spoilers i'm just going to give that warning if you haven't seen the movie yet and you want to watch and you read the book there are obviously a couple of things that were left out um and i felt like for the most part they covered their bases one of the big things that was left out was the magnet um yeah. lily had the the magnet the boston magnet and that's kind of what um causes the first you know incident that happens when ryle hits lily for the first time with the oven is that he's asking her about the magnet they're at her apartment her apartment doesn't exist in the movie um i'm sure that had to do with budget like they were like all right majority of this movie takes place not in her apartment maybe we'll just cut her apartment out of this and kind of like adapt to that um so that to me, I was like, oh, they never show her apartment. The first time this happens is in her apartment. She's cooking um, a casserole and they're drinking wine and they he's yeah. asking about the magnet. And then um, it stems from there because then he burns his hand and it's a whole thing. Uh, so like the magnet wasn't discussed. Her apartment's not in it. Um, they changed the name of the restaurant 
actually where they filmed is one of my favorite restaurants in Jersey City. So when it popped up, I was like, oh my God, that's South House, which is a delicious restaurant in Jersey City if people want to check it out. And I was like, oh my God, that's it. And so they changed the name of the restaurant from Bibbs to Roots. And like that then kind of tied together the tattoo that Lily has. So like I can see why they changed some things to make it work. To me, it didn't affect the story. Like I wasn't so thrown off by the changes that I thought, oh my God, how did they leave this out? I thought that it was pretty spot on and the and the changes that they made and the characters that they left out, um, I thought w was okay. Yeah, I, I I agree with you on that. There's some things like, of course, and it, when anything is adapted from a book, right? Everybody has their different favorites, different, mm -hmm. like they're different. Oh, I, I really liked that part of the book or that chapter really resonated with me. And sometimes things get cut. Sometimes things get changed. And then you're like, oh, like that kind of sucked. And it does like, because when you make a book into a movie, not everything from the book is going to make the movie. They have to make changes. Um, there's certain things like there are certain things I wish they had included more of like I and people I've seen people with the complete opposite argument that I that I thought like I wanted more young Lily and Atlas. Like I had thought like they really were not. Like there was very brief flashbacks um, and they were short and I felt like you didn't get to fully like feel those two fall in love. And that was such a big part of the book for me. And like kind of just like some of young Lily's habits of like the journaling and like the like the journal was a big thing I thought also to kind of leave out. I There's certain things that I'm like... Cut do you think they cut the journal out because it had to do Isn't with a Ellen? lot of Ellen DeGeneres and they were like, we need to cut Ellen DeGeneres out of this? Yeah, I mean, I also don't know if legally they mm. could even like mention her name, you know, like if it's... Right, <laughs> they put, they like did a little nod to it when they were watching TV yeah. and Ellen was on, but I thought, like, I yeah, like cutting and the journal out. And you could see, out. like there's one second where she's writing, like she's writing in a journal that says like, dear yeah. Ellen, like you can see it, but it's not acknowledged. And then right. also like that journal... Him find like Ralph finding that journal is also a big mm -hmm. thing. So there are certain the, things, yeah, that I feel like it wouldn't have been difficult for them to maybe include, but I, you know, whatever it it, it is what it is. Yeah, I agree with that. Like the journal, the magnet, um, yeah. you know, the, the the certain lines that were like, oh, the keep swimming, like her telling yeah. Atlas at the end that like her daughter's middle name is Dory. Like that's not yeah. included. Um, and adult I guess Atlas, it's not adult Atlas could have had more than like eight lines also. <laughs> yeah. I was like such a fan of adult Atlas that yes. I, and um, I was like wanting him to be on the screen so much more than he was. Um, and I felt like the reason that they cut the whole Dory thing at the end was because they didn't address it at all during the movie. So like they would have had to have put that keep swimming, finding Nemo yeah. thing with Ellen in the movie somehow to then get it to the end, which I felt like they could have, like, I, I yeah. felt like, but maybe they couldn't like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's tough. Like in literature, like that can read as like a really cute story, you know? And then sometimes I feel like like that could have been a creative thing for the movie that where if they in a movie, I could see it coming across maybe a little cheesier, you know? Yeah, I mean, it is definitely cheesy. So like totally. But I think out like, loud, if what, if what I'm getting from like readings and once again, like I said, it's tough because there is all this drama that's going on. So it's like you were getting all these other details. But to me, it just feels like the way that now they're claiming Blake had gotten involved was to maybe shake what could have been what they have said in this Hollywood Reporter article, like a Hallmark movie. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, wanted to not have it feel like that, I guess, where it's like maybe sometimes some of those cheesier lines they tried to like, not include but at the end of the day i mean there's still like there was still that still happens yeah. with, a, with a movie like this you know right i thought jenny slate was so good he was great and um really obviously good. she was comedic relief but at the end when she said like as his sister you know 
I would ask for you to forgive him. But as your best friend, like I'm begging you to never go back to him, which I thought was such a strong point at the end of the movie. And for somebody who had like such a comedic role throughout the film to like really hit that strong point at the end. I loved that. Um, I thought it was good. Like I enjoyed, yeah. like I, I enjoyed it. I, I cried a lot. Like I, I thought it was super emotional. Um, my tears ricochet. Taylor yeah, my Swift tears playing. Ricochet I think really that me too. made people super emotional as well. The song with what's going on. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give it an A minus. Um, like wow. I don't know. I, I'm between A minus and B plus because I don't know if it's just the movie theater experience that makes me. You know what I mean? Like you like yeah yeah yeah. But I don't know if it's something I would ever watch again. Yeah. Like maybe one more time, but I'm not. It's not something like I'm throwing on to watch. No, totally. I, um, I and obviously it's like a heavy topic. So like yeah, that that would make sense. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go B plus. Yeah. I'm gonna go B plus. I think. Um... I will say I thought like the creative decisions for telling the story were really powerful. I thought that they did that in a in a in a really well done way of like Lily at the beginning saying, you know, I'm an unreliable narrator narrator. And then that kind of being explored through the telling of her relationship with Ryle, because as you're watching it, you know, they they blur the lines a little bit when the, when those scenes first happen, like it's not, it's, it's like, you're almost seeing it through how Lily was experiencing it. Like, Oh, is, is that what happened? Is it not like, Oh no, like, yes, accident. Like, and you kind of like, it's it's very blurry. Those moments are blurred. You're not getting the full thing. And then it all coming to fruition at the end of her really realizing like, no, that is what happened. And you see the moments and you see how it really happened and what happened. And you see her have that revelation of like, I it's I'm out like this is done. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, And I thought that the way they told that was, was, was very well done. Um, yeah, now, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Blake, I know, like, Blake's outfits and everything was, like, such a hot topic of conversation before the movie came out because people saw the pictures and all these things and yada, yada, yada. I, you know, as Lily, I thought Blake did a great job. Um, and, I mean, I thought Justin Baldoni was also fantastic. Like, they, they mm-hmm. played the characters really well. I know people were iffy on those castings early on, but it made sense for the movie. And I think Colleen Hoover did adjust that too. Like she's like, I made the mistake of having them be so young in the, in the book. Like there aren't 25 year old neurosurgeons. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. like there's not like they're, they needed to be aged up and it does. It totally does make sense um, for that. And I don't know. I might, I, I'm like the costume stuff is tough. Cause I know that that may have been a sensitive area. It feels like, you know, Blake talking about, you know, the three, four months postpartum and all those things. I think like sometimes that was maybe involved with the, with the outfits that were, that were chosen and things like that. So I feel like a little bit more sensitive, like giving a lot of commentary on, on all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, I mean, jump, Owen Hunt jump scare. I mean, how did no, I had no, no clue that he was playing her father. And I was mm-hmm. just like, and like the funeral and the pictures up. And I was like, oh my God, what is that? I'm like, why is that Owen? Hunt? Like, what is happening? Um, so that got me. I mean, he's, you know, he doesn't really have, there's not much to him in the movie. Yeah. Um, because obviously like, you know, you see, you see that play out and his, fight with Atlas and everything, but like, there's no, you know, you're not really seeing a lot of conversation. So he's just kind of like a figure, like a, Mm -hmm. like a, like a bad figure throughout the, throughout the movie. But you're like, Oh my God, I just did not, uh, did not, did not see him coming. Yeah. There were so many, I mean, also young Lily sounds exactly like Blake Lively. Like their voices are exactly the same, which I think is wild. There's so many people on TikTok that have like auditioned, 
for this role. And they all kind of sound like Blake Lively. I'm like, whoa, like the voices are so similar. So that was interesting. I thought Young Lily, Young Atlas were great. Yeah. And I thought Older Atlas was great too. I, I would have loved to have seen more of him, but obviously, you know, that's just how the the, the yeah. book and the movie goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll look, that's why she wrote a second book, right? Like everybody read the yeah. book and they were like, oh my God, we want more. We need more. We need, we need more Atlas. Like we need more Lily and Atlas. And, and Colleen was like, okay, she wrote a whole second book like years later. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go B plus for that. And that is, and high school musical, I give an A obviously. Um, <laughs> all right. That's what I watched. Um, I watched. The first, I guess, I don't know how many episodes are out. Four? Five? Maybe four of Love Island? I Love Island. Love is Blind UK? Yeah. Um, I'll give that a B. I'm intrigued. It's good. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Um, what Like, just kind of filling the reality TV void. Mm -hmm. And then I watched the... Um, what did I watch? Oh, I watched the first episode of Lady Jane. My Lady Jane or just Lady Jane? I think it's my Lady Jane. Yeah. I watched the first episode. Um, I'm a little iffy. We'll see. I'll I'll continue, but it it didn't like sell me right away. Um, mm -hmm. which normally this area would, but I mean I'll give the I only watched the first episode. I'll give it like a C plus. I I think because I love the great so much that the whole time I was just kind of like comparing it to the great and was like I just felt like it maybe was maybe trying to be like that a little too much. Yeah. Um and yeah. I wasn't immediately pulled in right away. And um so maybe maybe that'll maybe that'll change, but that's how I felt about the first episode. Joe and I watched the second episode of House of the Dragon, which was boring. I'll give that like a C. I just mm. I couldn't even like it there that nothing really happened too much in that episode. Um I wa we watched the uh Federer documentary, which had come out like a while ago. Um, but we were just kind of browsing it through threw it on the other night really good really good i don't think i fully realized the federer nadal relationship like i was like sobbing at the end of this documentary i it was mm -hmm. it was it was really well done i liked it i'll give that a um i'll give it a b plus i thought it was really good and it ends with us i I don't know. It's tough to grit. I think it ends with us will probably fall around. I'm going to say B minus. That's probably where I'm at. I'm honestly torn between like a C plus or B minus. I'll, I'll go B minus. Um, I was. I think I was I was I was pleasantly surprised, like leaving the theater of how much that I had thought like in you know thought the movie was was good because um you have to form your own opinions right and like everybody mm -hmm. it just felt like the conversation around it was had been more negative and then I kept seeing like TikToks of girls being like here's what I think the movie's gonna be before and then rating it after and like they were all like bad. <laughs> and I was like oh okay um, yeah but I, I didn't feel I, that I, way like mine might like mine went up like I went in same. expecting like a lower and then left being like, Oh, that was better than I thought. Same. I think that's why my grade was high. It was because I was pleasantly surprised because I went in with low expectations. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm seeing awful reviews and I think people just want to hate it. Like I, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I think, think people want to hate it. Happens. Sadly, I think it's the Blake thing too. I think people want to hate Blake. Yeah. I think they just want to hate it. And then that's what's happening. Yeah. Um, Objectively so though, like, what did you think of her acting? Like in the movie, because I've been seeing be things about her acting. I'll be completely honest. Like, for me, Blake Lively, like, I don't think is like an incredible actress. Like, I, I, I often just see Serena from Gossip Girl. Like, I feel like she kind of like plays a sim. Like, 
she has different roles, but they come across similar to me. Um, that just might be like her voice and her whole demeanor. Like that might not be like, because yeah. she's bad or anything. Like it just might be whatever. Um, I'll say this though. Whoever fucking was throwing out the idea that Blake Lively should play Britney Spears is out of their fucking minds. Because yeah. I know that we talked about that last week and I and we kind of glazed over it and it didn't really hit me like when it was brought up. And then when I was watching It Ends With Us and like after I, I thought about it and I was like, who the fuck would ask Blake Lively if she's playing Britney Spears? Like there's not, like what? There's no way. Like yeah. there's no way. I don't, I think the pile on her acting is coming from a place of people not liking her right now as well. I, I thought she was pretty good. I don't know. Like, I thought she was pretty good. Yes, I think a lot of her, like, you know, at her performances aren't, like, unbelievably, like, where I'm, like, blown away. But I think a lot of people are nitpicking on the acting for her right now because on. of the other things. Yeah, um, I think it's a file on. For yeah, sure. like, I... I thought she was pretty good. I will say like, I, and I thought like there's a lot of what he heavy moments that I think they both, like both of them played really well. Like it, it sucks that there is an issue between the two of them because I thought they still really told the story very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I, I mean, during, in the beginning of the movie, I was like, why do I just keep hearing Serena? Um, from Gossip Girl, and then like that that went away. Like as the movie went on, I, that yeah. that left yeah. my brain. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think she just you know like she just has a a voice like that, you know, where it's like, yeah, that it's and it's honestly how I feel about Ryan Reynolds. I think Ryan Reynolds just plays Ryan Reynolds in every movie. Yeah. Right. That's no, my I, hot take it, about Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. So. I don't know. I personally thought like I I had I had no issue with uh with her performance to be honest yeah no yeah. i wouldn't have i wouldn't have really thought about it and and you know yeah since no you said people have been piling on with that and i truly think it just comes down to being like a huge pile on yeah um i think that's like basically everything i watched high school musical yeah high school musical which i mean high school musical is an a it's, it's just duh yeah <laughs> it's a great movie um, no, what did you watch? I watched the last two episodes or last three episodes of Gen V. Uh, very good. <laughs> Although I did find out some really sad news that like one of the main actors in it, like one of the kids died like after last oh season. Oh my God. Like, on, That's on, so awful. On the way to like filming season two. So I, I'm sure that they had to like scrap like it was like a motorcycle oh my gosh. accident. Um, that is so sad. So yeah. I don't oh really know my that. god! Wait, I I know who you're talking about, but I didn't realize he was in that show. Yeah. So I think they like had to obviously like completely like scrap whatever they were gonna do. Damn, so, that is absolutely yeah, awful. Yeah. Ch um. Um. Chance. Yeah. This was um. Because he was also in the Chance Perdomo. He was also in the um he was in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. And then re he was also in all the um some of the after movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, that's awesome. I think he played his like yeah, Lant like played the brother. That is awful. Yeah, I did not realize he was in that. Sh I did not realize. He I mean, was he's in like one of the. I main... remember seeing. I remember seeing the news of when he passed, but I did not know he was um in in, in that show because he was like the main character of the show. No, he's like top three. Yeah. 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 So. Oh. Yeah. Um, but very good show. I'll give it a B plus. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm excited for season two whenever that comes out. Are they doing a season two? Yeah, they're doing a season two. I think that they they just had to like change the whole storyline and like Jeez. get rid of his character. But um, I watched the new Matt Damon Casey Affleck movie on Apple TV, The Instigators. Mm -hmm. 
just fine like at best like i'll give it a c minus like it just feels like they wanted to make like a boston movie like kind of combine all the movies they made into one boston movie just for fun like kind of like adam sandler style where they're just like why not just make a movie with our friends like it'll be fun like there were so many like random boston cameos in it and it just didn't feel like anyone was really like putting in like their full effort. It was just like, oh, we're going to do this movie. I mean, Jack Harlow is in it. Like, uh, mm. <clears throat> but it's still like, they're all great actors and it's still like a fun watch, I guess, but it's so corny at points. Um, but yeah, I'll give that C minus. <clears throat> I watched um, A Quiet Place day one mm. with Lupita. And what's his name from Stranger Things? Oh, <clears throat> oh Joseph Quinn. Um, good, like not as good as the first Quiet Place. And I feel like the story is just like kind of like it was a good movie. But I just feel like at some point it's like, yeah, every movie is the same. Like you can't yeah, talk yeah. and like these monsters are coming after you. It's like doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Like this is supposed to be like the first day of like when this all started, which is like different. But it's still like turns into the exact same thing as the other movies where it's like how much yeah you... um i'll give that a b minus she's always amazing and everything she does but um i watched this movie called abigail like a horror movie basically the premise is um there's like this gang of criminals that gets hired to kidnap a little girl and then hold her for ransom for like this rich dad and this little girl turns out to be a vampire and oh my gosh uh but it's like very funny too um i actually really liked it i'll give it a b but it's like a funny horror movie um okay i would it's like a, is it supposed to be funny or i think it's supposed to be funny like yeah it definitely is is it on yeah. like streaming what's it on? What... yeah it was on it's on um it's on peacock i think uh angus cloud is actually in that so I don't know, that must have been filmed a while ago. Mm. But um, yeah, and then I watched High School Musical. I give it a B plus. <laughs> um, Solid. Like yeah, I mean, it was, for what it is, we really can't dive right into it without fully getting into our. Yeah, we we, we can get into it, but like you know, part of me is just like, this one doesn't have Ben Ben on it, so like, I don't know how high I can go. Like, <laughs> right? How much higher? That's why I gave this one an A. Yeah, because I need to know, leave like, room for I'll go a to plus a minus. Like. <laughs> Bet on it alone, like, raises it a half grade, so. Yeah, for sure. Um, But, yeah, that's all I watched. All right. Well, that's everything we watched this week. 